everyone i'm a big blaze have you tried the pinnacle boss yet abiroth is really cool fight and actually it's the hardest boss last epoch has to offer before you reach abiroth you need to defeat 10 harbingers in 10 different timelines in this video i'll show you what is the best order to fight them if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe it really helps the channel grow let's start so harbingers we need to defeat 10 of them to reach the end goal the pinnacle boss abiroth in order to reach each of the harbingers we need to progress the monolith each harbinger awaits in a higher corruption than the one before him higher corruption means other boss fight and of course other harbinger fight after i defeated 10 of them i want to share with you what is the best order to fight them in order to make it as easy as possible while you progress your way in the empower monoliths your first harbinger should be the one in the monolith ending the store personally i really don't like the laguna arena it's small and a lot of mechanics take half of the space really annoying fight on top of lagon we now have the agile harbinger to deal with inside the small arena overall i think that this fight is one of the three hard harbinger fights we have so it's better to deal with it in low corruption to lower the difficulty the second harbinger you should fight is in the monolith edge of winter this fight is also pretty annoying fight and arguably this timeline can be the first one you should face during the fight the arena can become smaller due to the snow this ability in combination of the movement of the boss can be difficult to deal with on eye corruption especially if you don't have some kind of movement ability even if you do have the ability to move fast this fight is definitely one of the hardest fights and you should remove this obstacle on low corruption. The first two Arbingers is definitely the hardest. After you defeat them, the rest of the fights become more of a personal preference in terms of difficulty. The third Arbinger, in my opinion, is in the Spirit of Fire timeline. I find this fight a bit harder than the rest because the arena can become smaller due to the boss abilities. Add to this the Arbinger abilities and you can find yourself with no room to dodge some mechanics. In eye corruption, you probably will die if you get hit by some of the abilities, so it's better to avoid it and then do this fight on lower corruption. At this point, you probably after the hard Arbingers. In my experience, the next Arbinger you need to go is in the last ruin or fall of the empire timelines personally i suggest you go for the last ruin arbinger just because again the arena can become smaller and make this fight a bit harder after you finish this go for the fall of the empire timeline now when you already defeated five arbingers most of the fights will be harder only because of the eye corruption the next two Arbingers you should fight is in the Black Sun and the Stolen Lands timelines. Those fights can be harder for some classes, but overall, I think that both of them is pretty easy and you won't have issue defeat those Arbingers. The last three Arbingers are in the timelines Fall of the Outcast, Blood Frost and Death, and Reign of Dragons. In my opinion, those Arbingers are the easiest to defeat and I didn't have any problem with those fights while I did them on eye corruption. You can do them in any order you want. Overall, I really like the idea of the Arbingers. When you defeat one of them, the next Arbinger will be harder till you defeat all of them and you get the chance to fight the pinnacle boss, Aberroth. What I didn't like is that you need to farm every timeline from 100 corruption. After I finished three timelines, starting from 100 corruption again felt like a waste of time and unnecessary. Even with the Arbinger's Needle and the Glyph of Envy that can accelerate this progress, the idea that you need to farm every timeline again and again from the start is frustrating. Let me know in the comments if you think you have a better order to fight those Arbingers. 
Thank you for watching. Peace.